Hi there everyone, it's Delizia from Delizia Naturally here and I am straight out of Queanbeyan in case you didn't know. Queanbeyan, New South Wales, Australia and we are an Australian made and owned company that makes soap and bath products. Today I'm going to show you how I make my lavender and oatmeal soap with sheep tallow. And the sheep tallow is from Moringo, New South Wales. Let's begin. This is the sheep tallow slowly melting on a double boiler. It's beautiful and um, opaque white, which means that it's uh, triple rendered, very clean, good to go. So I have lavender in abundance and today we'll be making the oat and lavender soap. Uh, which is great. So we have the sheep tallow here that's melted. Now just so you know, this is at 45 degrees Celsius and the sodium hydroxide mixture is at 18.5. So happy with those two mixtures. Uh, temperatures sorry we also have the oatmeal here in this container lavender um, from the front garden in fact that's a fresh lavender and that's a lavender that I've picked um, from weeks ago this is also my essential oil mix so that is lavender oil and one percent atlas cedar oil as well both essential oils um, and I have my mixer here which is a paint mixer with the drill uh, so that's should I need it, um, but I am going to get a whisk, get a, a hand whisk as well, because uh, I don't need a stick blender for this mixture. And in fact, with the sheep tallow, I don't, I've learned not to use a um, stick blender. I use a whisk and the paint mixer attached to the drill. It's just easier for me to manage and I don't need to worry about it tracing too quickly. I also have my mould here ready. Um, this is a large mould and it fits... 2,113 grams of um, sheep tallow mixture. So uh, let's start. So I'm going to pour the sodium hydroxide in first. Okay, here we go. So you can see it um, looks like it wants to trace already. It's going quite quite hard uh, but that's okay we're gonna mix through that it looks like it's a false trace uh, but we will combat that So I brought it back from the brink <laughs> with some elbow grease after the false trace. This is the tallow, lavender and oatmeal soap. It's chic tallow. We're almost there ready to pour. Just want to make sure that those... Um, that oatmeal is really dissolved. I don't want the clumps, even though there's no issue because when you're using it as soap, the oatmeal is beautiful for your skin, very conditioning. Okay. Okay. We are ready to pour. 
Now, that's the paint blender, and I want to get as much as I can on. And that'll do. Okay, now time to pour into this large mold here. I want you to see that. Just angle the camera. Okay, I'm going to rest that there and we'll use that just to scrape out the last bits. That is a beautiful tallow oatmeal and lavender soap. Okay, for those last bits, I'm just going to do this so you can see. I will cover this at the end because I will want it to go through a gel phase. Because it's in a metal bucket, oh, sorry, a metal stainless steel bowl and not a bucket, it is a bit heavier and sometimes I feel like my 5-4 frame um, my hands struggle to hold it up, um, not because of the weight, but because of just the awkward nature and the way that you have to kind of hold your arms and your frame to pour it out. Okay, just getting all that goodness out. You can see that oatmeal coming through, which is great. Okay, I'm going to tap it now, which means um, the camera will move. That's okay. Um, maybe just to just to make it level as much as I can. Um, before we put the lavender and oats decoratively on the top there. Bit of an earthquake, mate. Okay. I don't mind the rustic nature. That's okay. I'll just do that and then I'll also take my gloves off. I did uh, accidentally uh, spill oats everywhere, but that's okay. It's part of the fun. So I like to put like the oats and the lavender just on one side and I'm going to push it down a bit because what I find is that um, if I just rest it on the top, it doesn't quite stick into the tallow soap. So I will push this down. Then I'll put a um, sprig of lavender for each 